This is the quick overview video of the Agileoff system for CrimTech, focusing on document management and transmittal of documents and projects to the customer. We're in our staff interface right now, looking at the staff home page, which is a dashboard presentation for users. You can see some of our built-in charts and reports here. All of the individual tables have some predefined charts and reports. You can make your own or edit the existing ones through our tab-based wizard. All of the admin setup is also done through similar tab-based wizards. Coming down to the projects table, we can see the columns here define a view. We can search on the different records if we want using any of the data fields in the system. We can also add any of these data fields to the view if you want to change the list of columns, as well as clicking on the any of the columns to sort. Within a particular uh, within a particular project, we can see all of the details about it and we can trim down any of these fields that you don't want or add others that you need. Uh, each project has a particular contact so you can indicate which customer, which company and a particular contact this is for. You can then list the individual documents that go with it. Here are a couple of documents we put in. And then you can put in notes. Here are some notes I had added before since these are puppy drawings. Um, then list the actual source files that you want to send to the customer at that time. And then when you click the send a customer button, it generates a transmittal record. You can see the transmittal records here. And each one of these, you can see the individual records that were sent during that transmittal. Um, so when I click this button, it will generate the transmittal record, send an email to the customer. That email that we set up during the demo has a link to let them come back in and edit the record later on. So I'm just going to click that record and notice there were four transmittals before. Now if I come back in and look at this, now we can see down here there are five transmittals. And the email sends in the background, it takes a little while to send, but we can see the earlier one that was sent. This is the one that was sent out earlier during the demonstration. It contains the actual files that we had selected along with a customized subject and content. And then here is the, this would be the hyperlink to click on and come back in and edit the record. You can also see the history. We have the full audit trail of all the changes that have been made to the record. On the customer perspective, now they can just click on the link in the email they get and it will take them directly to that project, but I've also updated the end user interface. This is our custom end user portal. This is fully custom HTML, so you can change it to look like whatever you want. I've added a link here for my projects, and they can come in here and see the projects that have been uh, for their company. They can come in and edit any of these projects if they need to. Here's all the information. You can take out what permissions you want. So maybe you only want them viewing these and not actually being able to edit any of them. And here I can see the actual drawings. So they could come into one of these drawings. You can see most of these fields are locked down. So they can add comments. You can see a previous comment they added. They can add comments and they can come in here and they can update any of these attached files, but they can't edit the other fields. And here, this user, they have permission to check out a document or update this existing document. They cannot delete it. And based on the permissions, you can say if they're only allowed to view this most recent version or if they're going to be allowed to view the previous versions as well. Now, there are a couple extra things in the staff interface that I didn't mention during the initial demo. I have some extra tables here that I've left active in the left pane. Again, we have a lot of different things out of the box, and I've, I've hidden most of them based on what we're uh, what this demo is about. So I just wanted to show the tasks briefly. Uh, the tasks table is just generally if you need to assign something to an individual internal or external that you just want them to go out and look at and say, yes, I've done this, it's okay. Um, but what I wanted to show here is some of the time tracking. Now we did mention briefly that you do often do time tracking. I want to show how it usually works in our system. Um, and I'm just gonna put in a, some time here. So Generally, the way we do time tracking is that the staff members can put in how much time they spent and then a description of it. And then when I save this record, it's going to create a time entry like this. You can see this one is quite old. But I can come in here and just save this. And now if I come back into this task and go and look at the time spent, now it blanked out those fields. But down here at the bottom, you can see the time entry I just put in. So this is how we normally track time entries from staff members when they're entering time based on different things. All of these time entries are stored together in, a, in this table called time entries and are related to the user who put in the time and whatever other record they came from. So you can pull in your time ent entries from everywhere. You can also do a more, um, a more standard kind of time card if you want people clocking in and out or just putting in all the time they spent over the course of the week. Uh, one other thing to mention is in the upper right here under the help drop down we have the administrator manual. 
and this gives you an overview of all the different parts of the system that you can look through if you want. Again, of course, I invite you to uh, direct any questions to myself, Craig Gordon at agileoff.com. It's just craig.gordon at agileoff.com or Patricia Pritz, uh, also patricia.pritz at agileoff.com, our sales manager for any future questions.